Hell no! Right in the face. Check upstairs. You and me gonna have ourselves fun. As soon as you can, make a run for the shed. And keep your head down. You're gonna be all right. Nice. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. They did unspeakable things. Grab the loot. Someone might as well have this. <laughs> Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. This prick's got what they deserved. kill you but I will you always did have a high opinion of yourself John <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch I guess he was about right get him boys oh boy everybody take cover in that shed together and stay in here. This is the best cover we got. I'll kill you! Oh.
seem to be short on ammo. Oh, there goes the horse. Poor horse. You'll pay for nothing. what you did at Ridgewood. Come on, you What the hell? Ah. Pop up, take a shot, and go back down. You fellas should have stayed at home. Seems to be the best way to deal with them. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! <laughs> Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Sweet. Come on! We are successful. Let's see here. Let's head to our next mission. Yeah! Whichever one is closest. Save the treasure hunter. <laughs> there is much treasure here. You want map? I retire. Here, take map. You earn it. <laughs> Thanks, mister. I can use Found a treasure well. map. Pretty cool. Come on. Mess around with that later. Come on. See if we can do that mission now. <coughs> Since it's daytime. This kind of morning Actually, first of all, I want to go over here real quick. <coughs> Is there anything in this chest? Climb on the roof. I guess there's nothing over there. Let's do our mission. See if we can do it. And I can tell you, with no uncertainty, that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. I like this guy. At everyone's service. At the service of science, <coughs> of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. <coughs> oh, but for you, sir. I'd do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy a hundred ounces or more. That's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> uh, 
Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> to Ridgewood Farm! The sick and needy await us! Oh, the life of a wandering saver of souls! I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Good week in the week. Gullible out of their hard-earned money. For the love of God, try to stay on the road. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed scuttlebutt. You're as full of wind as a horse with a collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and 